Greetings everyone, I am Sukrit and today I am going to present a paper on learning based multi objective optimization through ANN assisted online innovation. So as we begin with the online innovation as active intervention into an EMO algorithm, we solve an EMO algorithm to identify a set of non-dominated solutions from which we use innovation techniques and identify some problem specific knowledge which then we can use as an active intervention to converge faster. So our focus here will be learning at the intermediate generations, which is a free form kind of a learning. That is, we have no prior beliefs at all about the problem specific knowledge. And we implement those learnings through a repair operator, which we claim at some as some preliminary results that we can gain some faster conversions. So now there are some questions yet to answer before we move to our approach as from where we can learn or when we can learn or what we can learn, how we can learn. These are all still open questions which we will try to address this presentation. So on the right side, we can see a flow chart in which we can at any generation of the EMO algorithm, we can identify three different steps marked in red, which are not a normal step in an EMO algorithm. So at any generation T of the genetic algorithm, we first update a solution archive. Then we check whether the population threshold is met. That is whether we should learn or not. Then we identify what to learn. We train our learning mechanism in this case, which is the artificial neural network. And then we repair the child population. So to begin with, we start with the data generation step in which supposedly if we create an archive AT at generation T, which is nothing but some previous collection of population from some previous generations. Say for this example, whether the population size was 100 and the generations was 5, the archive size becomes 500. So we identify 100 reference points so that we can identify 100 good solutions. Like on the right hand side, we can see if we had 6 reference vectors, we identify 6 good solutions which are A, B, C, D, F and G, not E since we could only identify the n number of best solutions for n reference vectors. So if we separate these best solutions from the archive, it gives us the input and the output from which then the input we can again associate them to their respective vectors so that we get the input output mapping. This mapping is done in the normalized objective space. However, our training data set is generated in the X space, which is the decision variable space. So now our data set has the variable vectors which are to be normalized before they can go into the ANN training. And then we train them using a two layered ANN. That is, it has two hidden layers, then one input and one output layer. The input and output layer neurons have to be equal to the number of variables that are there in the problem statement. And for this study, the hidden layer neurons have been fixed to 30 in each layer. Then we move to the repair step in which we randomly select 50% of the offsprings that has been generated using selection and mutation and crossover. Then we normalize them in the X space using the same bounds that we identified in the previous step. We repair and then we denormalize them back to the original space. So uh, as preliminary results, we show our results on the problem ZDT1, which is a two objective and 30 variable problem. And we have comparison of NSJ2 with and without the NN assisted repair operator. So here we can see we can the black solid and black dotted lines show the hyper volume, the median hyper volume from 31 independent runs. And the red and the green lines reveal the best and the worst attainment surface. So here we can see that it actually has a tendency to improve these solutions at the intermediate generation so that we can achieve a better solution at an earlier generation than was done later. So here we can see a small representation of it in which now you can see right now both the NSJ2 and NSJ2 ANN populations are same but as soon as it hits generation 20 the repair starts and it converges to a better population now. We can see consistently the green solutions are still slightly better than the red solutions. The hyper volume improvement may not be much for this problem since we are already very near to the optimal front but yet 
as a proof of principle, we can see that we can learn these kinds of relationships and we can actually repair those offspring to be better. So at generation 20, we try to investigate the how offspring quality has been enhanced. So we can see here the red crosses show the offsprings before repair, but the green crosses show the green dots show the offsprings which are after 50% improvement. Similarly, we can see this emo run where um, we have the percentage of the repaired offsprings that survived versus percentage of the total offsprings that survived, which is consistently more throughout, which uh, actually is a proof that the repaired offsprings were better in nature has and have better survivability to reach the next generation. So in this, uh, we have seen an ANN assisted repair operator, which can be attached to any EMO or uh, many objective optimization algorithm. We have given a proof of principle that uh, this kind of a learning based task is useful and can actually enhance the prof performance of any EMO algorithm. And this is independent of whether what learning mechanism is used and what emo algorithm is used to solve any problem thank you